Once upon a time, in the northern part of East Java, there lived a scary giant crocodile. He was the ruler of the river and a predator who was feared by all of the animals in the forest near the river. The name of the crocodile was Baya. He was very good at hunting, so all of the animals in the jungle were afraid of him. Baya lived in the river. In the sea, there lived a wild shark named Sura. He ruled the sea, and every fish was scared of him. However, Sura felt bored because he ate fish every day. He was curious about the river near the sea. One day, he decided to go to the river. At the side of the river, there was a deer that was drinking water. Sura felt hungry, so he swam silently to the edge and jumped out to catch the deer. Sura was happy to get such delicious food. After eating the deer, Sura became addicted. The next day, he hunted back on the river and got a lot of food. After a couple of days, Baya became suspicious because it was harder and harder for him to find prey. He started investigating what was happening. When Baya saw Sura catch a little monkey in the river, Baya became angry. Hey, Sura. What are you doing here? This is my territory. How dare you snatch my prey? Sura was not afraid of Baya. He challenged Baya to a fight. Hey, I can look for food anywhere I want. It's not just your territory here. All animals are free to look for food here. Finally, a fight could not be avoided, and the fight began. Because both of them were strong, the fight was very long. For days, all of the animals in the forest were disturbed by the fight. They couldn't sleep. Finally, the two wild animals were exhausted. No one won and no one lost because both of them were equally strong. Sura. We better end this fight. I'm too tired. So am I, Baya. Okay, let's end this battle. Sura, first we need to limit our hunting area. The end of the river is the limit. Don't you break the line, or you will feel the consequences. Okay, Baya. I accept this agreement. Sura finally left the river and returned to the sea. For months, the forest calmed down. There were no fights between Sura and Baya. But Sura felt uneasy. He longed to eat deer meat like before. There were a lot of fish in the sea, but it wasn't enough for him. He couldn't bear it. So quietly, he swam towards the mouth of the river. Ah, if I look for prey near the river mouth, Bayo won't know because he lives further up the river. Unfortunately, no prey approached the mouth of the river. Sura was tired of waiting. Finally, he swam up the river towards the forest. Sura wanted to go back to the jungle again. This time, he would be careful not to be caught by Baya. <laughs> I will catch the prey and immediately bring it out to sea, so Baya won't see me. <laughs> the plan was successful, and for months, Sura hunted in the river without being discovered. Over time, Baya became suspicious because again, his prey was reduced. But this time he didn't see Sura on the river. 
but he believed this was Sura's doing. Hmm. This must be Sura. Watch out, Sura. Then, Baya prepared a plan. Baya found a deer, but didn't catch him right away. Instead, he hurt the deer's leg, so he couldn't run away. The deer was placed on the edge of the river, then Baya hit. A short time later, Sura swam up the river and saw the injured deer. He felt excited because the deer was fat. Wow, lucky me. Today I'll have a feast. Ha 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 ha. Just as he was about to bring the deer to the sea, suddenly Baya confronted him. Hey, you sure are stubborn and shameless, Sura. How greedy are you? Imagine, the fish in the sea are abundant, but you are still hunting in my area. Hey, Baya. If you want, you can hunt in the sea. I don't forbid you. Mmm. I don't like fish. And I especially can't stand the sea water. Well, it's okay. If you don't want it, at least I have offered it to you. Sura answered lightly and dragged the deer to the sea. Baya got angry, then attacked Sura. Hey, where do you think you're bringing that deer? To the sea. I'll eat it there. Bring the deer here. I caught it to trap you. Well, it's your fault you didn't eat your deer yourself. You forgot our agreement? This river is my territory. Hey, if there is water, there's me. This agreement is ridiculous. Okay, then our agreement is cancelled. Now, the strongest one has the right to rule this area. Finally, Baya attacked Sura. A fight couldn't be prevented. This time it was even more exciting. No one dared to approach the area of the fight. Ah, uh, yeah. Sura almost dodged his attacks and Baya became annoyed. When Sura was off guard, Baya managed to bite his tail. Out! My tail! Sura did not want to lose. Both of them were in pain and seriously injured. However, Baya did not despair. He continued to bite until Sura's tail was cut off. Sura was in so much pain, he ran away leaving Baya towards the sea. Since then, Sura has not dared to approach the river. And since he no longer had a tail, he couldn't swim as hard as he once had. Ah, it's so painful. Oh my. To commemorate the fierce fight, the area where the two animals fought was called Surabaya, and the name remains to me.